Hey what's up guys, today I'll show you a science fiction horror drama film, The Endless. Spoiler ahead, watch out and take care. Ten years ago, Justin and his younger brother, Aaron, lost their parents in a car accident and were adopted by a religious organization. As they lived a period of time with the oddly cheery cult at Camp Arcadia, Aaron enjoyed the friendly atmosphere and good food. But the more pragmatic Justin soon noticed that it was a cult they were brought into. So later, Justin escaped the cult with his younger brother, when everyone else was engaged in religious activity. Unfortunately, life has been hard, and neither of them has truly adjusted to existence on the outside. They struggle to make ends meet at a cleaning company, and every day, they wake to the same bland existence. One day, a mysterious videotape arrives in the mail from the cult that they had abandoned. The video was taken on the day they fled the sect. It was about Anna, who had taken care of the siblings. She informs the duo that she is going to a ritual of ascension and tells them not to worry about her. Back then, after they watched the video, Justin forced Aaron to leave the camp. Until now, Aaron blames Justin for depriving him of the joy and comfort at the camp. Nostalgic about the good food and contented people he remembers, Aaron manages to convince Justin to return for a visit, even though Justin is unwilling to go in the first place. Afterward, the two set off to Camp Arcadia, which is located in a desolate area. On their journey, Justin is surprised that the road ahead looks exactly the same as the road behind them, as if they are mirroring the image of one another. As Justin looks to the front, he finds the flying bird gone missing. Shortly after, they bump into a hiker who's walking briskly at the edge of the campsite. Finally, they reach the camp, where peaceful and contented life unfolds before Aaron. The leader of the sect immediately recognizes the siblings and extends a warm welcome to them. Strangely enough, Aaron cannot remember much about his old days, and he almost cannot recall Anna, who appears in the video. Despite some awkwardness, they are welcoming, laid back, and not much different in age from Aaron and Justin. Two days later, Justin ventures to investigate the true identity of the religion. At the outskirts of the camp, he runs into Hiker, who disappears in a flash. Then he interacts with a practicing magician and feels humiliated by his magic shows. Justin asks Leader why he sent them the videotape, only to find that it is not sent by him. Justin clearly does not buy what Leader says, and conflict arises between the two. It's revealed that ten years back, Justin was a very naughty boy, full of lies. He even regarded Camp Arcadia as an odd cult and spread such rumors to the press, and the negative exposure had caused the life of the community to be jeopardized. Justin continues the investigation and encounters a drug-addicted painter whose life was saved by Leader. As she fell in love with Leader at first sight, she has remained in the camp. On the other hand, Aaron gets increasingly smitten with Anna and expects to begin a romantic relationship with her. The next day, Justin discovers a movie Iron House while jogging. Shortly after, dust is thrown up where he is standing, and the sky darkens for a split second. To his shock, Justin is circled by a number of identical photos. As he looks at the photos, a tree behind him falls down suddenly, making it more creepy. At night, Justin seeks Leader and demands him to explain the photos that emerge out of thin air. Leader takes his time to finish a cigarette and points to the two moons in the sky. In reply, he tells Justin everyone is searching for his own answer and Justin's might be hidden at the bottom of the river shown in the photo. He adds that when Justin finds the answer, he will also understand why there are two moons in the sky. Confused, Justin returns to his dormitory and meets a lady named Wifey, who claims to lose her way while searching for her husband. As such, Leader rescues her and promises to help her locate her husband. Justin comes to realize that Leader has been conning strangers to settle in the compound. In contrast to Justin's growing distrust of the sect, his brother Aaron finds it home at Camp Arcadia. He chats with Anna and happens to see two moons after smoking. It turns out that the hallucination of two moons is caused by the cigarettes. Even though Anna tries to explain the unusual phenomenon, Aaron does not quite get it. Aaron asks Anna about the videotape, but Anna is not aware that it is mailed to them. She recalls that the video is taken to reassure her own younger sister and the two brothers that she is safe. However, when she mentions her younger sister, she sounds a little sad. It seems like her younger sister also went missing 10 years ago. On the third day of their stay, Justin plans to leave the camp. But driven by curiosity, he visits the river and uncovers an iron box from the bottom of it. When he comes back to their boat, he shouts out loud in his chicken voice that there is a monster down in the water. The shadow of the monster appears at the bottom of the river as they row away. Justin opens the box to uncover a video cassette and decides to flee the place immediately. However, Aaron does not share his feelings, because he does not see any monsters there. 
So Aaron requests to watch the video before they depart, and then they play the video cassette in the presence of Leader, only to find its content about Justin calling the organization a cult. Aaron now realizes that the rumor starts with Justin, and his actions almost ruin the lives of believers. Upon knowing Aaron's resentment towards Justin, Leader orders Justin to leave the camp. Justin insists on bringing Aaron along with him, but angry Aaron rebels against his own brother. Without any choice, Justin departs alone and passes by a wooden cottage occupied by Hiker. As soon as he opens the door, he sees the Hiker hanging himself with a rope. But the next moment, an identical Hiker appears at the doorstep, and he even shouts at Justin. It's revealed that 10 years ago, Hiker had already told Justin to leave the cult. He criticizes Justin for being a fool to come back to the camp, and then he reveals that an unseen monster haunts the area, the one capable of manipulating time. So those residing in the camp are stuck in time loops of 10 years. Every 10 years, the residents will be murdered by the unseen entity, and then they will be revived for the next loop. Hiker explains that at this wooden cottage, his life is repeated every three hours. In order to escape the excruciating pain of the entity's torture, Hiker kills himself ahead of the appointed time. Hiker claims that he is way better than the camp residents, because at least he fights against his fate and tells Justin the truth. However, the majority of the residents do nothing about the situation, but willingly wait for the torture, and they even call the camp a paradise. What is more sinister, Leader often brainwashes passersby and turns them into a member through the time loop. In fact, the painter, Wifey, and Justin are not limited by any space, and they are able to move around, while Hiker and many others are trapped in a certain space. No matter how hard they try, they are not able to escape. Furthermore, Hiker tells Justin that the restart will begin once three moods appear together in the sky. By then, all the space will be eradicated. Justin can only escape the loop by leaving the camp before the appointed time comes. Hiker then draws a map to show Justin where the guns are, and promises him that as long as he brings back a gun, he will draw him a map to rescue Aaron. On the other hand, Aaron calms down and begins to worry about his brother, so he goes out to look for Justin. When he is outdoors, two photos fall from the sky. Aaron brings the photos to Leader, but Leader does not give him any explanation. Instead, Leader advises Aaron to do whatever he can, especially when he finds the camper. He will be able to see his brother again. It looks like Leader is not interested in keeping him in the camp. So Aaron embarks on a journey to find Justin and experiences a bizarre phenomenon at the border of the camp. Those in the camp cannot see him, neither can he see them. Aaron comes across a man who lives in the time loop of five seconds, killing himself and reviving. Meanwhile, Justin has found the house on the map. There he finds the drug-addicted man whom the painter has been avoiding. Drug addict also owes Hiker a gun. The next moment, drug addict's friend has reached the place, and he is no other than the husband that wifey is seeking. The husband has been helping drug addict to get rid of his addictions, but the two of them are also stuck in time loops. Just when Justin is about to return to Hiker with the gun, the husband sets his house on fire, showing that his time loop is within a short period of time. On his way, Justin encounters another camper, where he meets Aaron. With close observation, Justin concludes that this camper belongs to the husband. Having gone a long and dreadful way, the two brothers finally leave the compound completely. To Justin's dismay, disgruntled Aaron refuses to return to their normal lives, saying that he is probably better off in the cult than in what amounts to an endless cycle, where he struggles to make ends meet on the outside. At least within the camp, he is cozying up to a gentle Anna. It is clear that Aaron is unhappy with his tepid life and knows nothing much about the reset massacre. This time round, Justin respects Aaron's decision and sends him back to the camp. However, the camp is empty, and no one is around. They then realize that the three moons have gathered to begin a major restart. The siblings venture into a room that stores various videotapes, and learn about the story behind everything. It turns out, everyone within the boundary falls under the control of an evil spirit. People there are interlinked with one another, and are imprisoned in their own space and time. Some of them have been trapped by fear, while some by their relationships. Through the video, they also see the people were eradicated by the evil god. Justin and Aaron rush to the venue of sacrifice, only to see bloodstains and clothes lying around. This hits Aaron really hard. Aaron now knows that it would take a heavy price to beat Reborn, so he wants to leave with Justin. Unexpectedly, a black hole appears in the sky, tearing and devouring everything around it. Justin and Aaron have to flee by all means, joining their hands together to deal with whatever difficulties along the way. Under the dire circumstance, they have both let go of the grudges held towards one another and overcome their fears to press forward. In a pinch, their car manages to break through the border, escaping the catastrophe. At the same time, those who remain in the camp are resurrected, 
the ever-pleasant and forgiving leader, smiles at their successful departure. While driving their way out, Justin says that the car is moving without any gas. Aaron replies that the tank is empty all the time. Justin comments that Aaron finally realizes what it is all about, something the film does not elaborate further. It could be that Aaron has understood that life of being a cleaner is better than a fantasized loop journey. Perhaps we can get some clues from the two lines of proverb shown at the beginning of the movie. It mentions that fear has to do with the unknown and relationships. This endless loop certainly is no doubt connected with fear. Those who are trapped in their own small zones cannot get rid of their fear of friendship or love, and the group of residents waiting for the reset have to deal with the fear of the unknown and peer pressure. As the two siblings resolve their own conflicts, they might be freed from the trap of relationships to enter another space. However, as they are still fearful of the unknown, it is unclear whether they have completely overcome the traps. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.